Yo, 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 what up guys? Welcome back to my coding channel. And today we're gonna talk about the most important programming languages in 2017. So what are the most important languages today and maybe a couple of years in the future? I've picked four different programming languages. And the reason is because I think those four are important in different ways. And um, as I go through them, I will explain in what way is each and every one of them important. So let's get into it, guys. My number one language that I think is important today is JavaScript. And the reason why I think so is because it's so universal and it's so uh, versatile. You can use JavaScript to develop any kind of application. I mean, you can do a website, you can do, you can build an app, you can even build backend software using JavaScript. And it's really funny because back in the days, JavaScript was this toy language that no one took seriously. But today, it's the most popular programming language in the world. If you look at Stack Overflow statistics, you'll see that JavaScript is the number one language on Stack Overflow. So it's, it's a really huge language, guys. It's, and it has a stable position in today's ecosystem. Uh, it has a, a very uh, huge community of developers building different open source projects in JavaScript. So those are the reasons why I think JavaScript is important. My number two language, guys, is Python. Uh, and I have several reasons why I think Python is important. Number one reason is the syntax. Python has a very clear syntax, guys. And most of the people and developers I know love Python, and me, myself included. I think Python has... Um, uh, the, the syntax is good in such a way that the language gets out of your way. You don't struggle with the syntax. You just solve your problems using Python. And the Python just lets you do it. And it does everything you expect from a programming language. And the main strength is that you don't need to, to fight the language. The syntax is very clear and clean and easy to develop with. So that is my number one reason why I think Python is important. My number two reason why I think Python is important is because it has a very huge and still growing community of machine learning developers. If you are a machine learning developer, you will most probably use Python in your everyday life. Uh, the reason is because Python has a lot of libraries and tools for machine learning people. And so uh, if you pick Python as your main language uh, for machine learning, you will have no trab trouble at all finding the right tool for your problem. Uh, and that is not only machine learning, it's statistics and math and finance in general. Python has really, really good support for those use cases. And um, well, the third uh, uh, reason why I think Python is important is because it also has a strong uh, stance when it comes to backend software. It has Django, which is a hu huge uh, framework for backend. Uh, when I say huge, I mean it's uh, very popular. Uh, so those are the reasons why I think uh, Python is important. It's clean, it has a very large community of uh, mathematicians and machine learning developers, and it has a strong stance when it comes to Django and backend software. Uh, my num number three language is Swift. Uh, the reason why I think Swift is important today and probably many years in the future is because it's the main language when it comes to iOS and Mac, Mac OS development. Uh, and simply you have not a lot of choices. You can either do your project in Swift if you want to build an iOS or uh, Mac OS app, or you can go with Objective-C. And Objective-C is kind of outdated and it's harder to create software using Objective-C. Objective so most of the new projects uh, on iOS and Mac OS are written in Swift. And there are a lot of consulting opportunities when it comes to Swift. Uh, and 
so that is the number one reason is because you you will have a lot of opportunities you have a lot of uh, jobs and consulting gigs and offers if you are a good Swift developer. And number two reason why I think Swift is important is because uh, the language is open source and it has a large community working on it and developing the language itself on GitHub because it's open source. And it's not really limited to only iOS. You could run Swift as um, as a backend language, as a, a server language. Uh, so we'll see in the future. It's not really popular today to run Swift on the backend, but it could be in the future because the language is open and you can run, uh, run Swift on uh, Ubuntu or some other Linux uh, distributions. So I'm really excited about Swift in the future. Uh, and so the, the last reason why I think Swift is important is because it's easy to uh, develop software that doesn't has doesn't have bugs in it, and by that I mean, if you're writing in uh, Objective C or C++, you as a developer need to manage all of the memory. But in Swift, uh, we have something called optional uh, types, and with optional types. Swift makes sure that you, as a developer, won't use a variable that is uh, that doesn't that doesn't have any value and a null nil variable, and that helps a lot when when it comes to making uh, bugs that are hard to find. Swift won't let you do these bugs, so and it really helps a lot for new developers. And finally, my last language that I think is important today and probably a couple of years in the future and that is Java. The reason why I think Java is important is because most of the enterprise software uh, written today is in Java. So if you're gonna work for a large company, maybe a, a company that has several thousand employees, chances are they're gonna have software written in Java because I think Java dominates the enterprise market. So if you want to work in larger corporations, uh, you will have to learn Java. Uh, so that's it, guys. That's my four uh, languages that I think are important today and probably maybe five, three to five years uh, in the future. Uh, and it's really hard to tell um, what will be popular in the future. But if I had to place my best, I would pick those four. So, right guys, what do you think? Do you think those languages are important? What languages do you think are important? Write your opinions in the comment section below. And I'll see you tomorrow, guys.